hi, my car battery keeps going flat. So then I charge it up again and it might be all right for a day or two and then I'm back to the same thing again. So I'm gonna do a battery load test and a few other checks to see if I can get to the bottom of it and maybe it'll help you out too if you've got a similar problem. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is check the status of the battery because we can't do the load test. Uh, if the battery is flat, it has to be as fully charged as we can get it. So I've just got my meter here and I'm going to turn it to voltage DC. And now I'm just going to put red to positive and black to negative and see what the voltage is. And can you see that 13.4 there? Well, on an AGM battery, anything above 12.75 is more than 90% charged. And so 13.4 suggests this battery is 100% charged. If it was lower than 12.75, then I'd be putting the battery back on charge and charging it up a bit more before doing the load test. And at this stage, it's worth just double checking that your battery clamps and terminals are nice and clean. If you're not sure how to do this, I'll put a link in the video description to show you. Uh, but as you can see, mine look nice and clean, so we're ready to move on. Okay, so we're ready to do our load test. So I'm gonna put my meter back over there again. DC voltage again. And then I've just got these clamps and I'm going to use them to hold the probes to the battery terminal because I'm not going to be here to hold them in a minute because I'm going to be inside the car turning the key to start it. So I'm using metal clamps so you have to be careful because obviously the metal then becomes live. Okay, so that's got that one. There we go, that's got the other. Now you'll note that my battery voltage is showing 12.75, which is still okay, but it's way down on the 13 it was at earlier. And that's because earlier on when it was showing 13, I'd only just taken it off charge. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the battery to settle. So that's probably nearer its kind of true value. But remember over 12.75 is still considered to be 100% charged, so we're still good to go. Now my meter actually has a min-max function and that means it will automatically record the highest and the lowest voltage as seen over a time period. So I'm going to push that now. But if you don't have that function, you can still see what you're checking for by just keeping a really good eye on the meter, either a second person or by turning it and sticking it up on the windscreen where you can see it. So now I'm going to jump in the car and start it. And that's going to be the load part of this load test. And the other part is keeping an eye on the multimeter while the starter motor is turning. OK, so I'm going to try and start the car now. And what we're looking for is 9.6 volts or better. And that's because a lot of the systems in your car need at least 9.6 volts to operate properly. If you've got less than that, then there's a good chance the car either won't start or it won't run properly. So pushing the button. And once the car starts, then the load test is over, if it starts. Coming back to the multimeter, this is the maximum voltage that was recorded. And as you can see, it's 14.18. And this will have been recorded while the engine was running. And if it's between 13.8 and 14.8, then it means the alternator's good. Now, if you don't have a min-max function, then you would have had to have been reading the meter in real time while you were doing the battery load test. And the load test would look something like this. And as you saw, the voltage was about 6 to 6.5 volts, which is a lot lower than the 9.5 we're looking for. It's not as accurate this way, but you can still perform the load test. Okay, so back to our load test. Let's see what that minimum voltage was. But if you do have min-max, all you have to do is push the min-max button once. At the moment, it's showing the max. And when you push it, it'll show the minimum. Okay, so the minimum is 9.44. And that means that potentially we have a bad battery. Okay, so it might seem a little bit mad that we've done the load test and as you saw, the car started really easily. And now I'm saying potentially it has a bad battery. And that's because... It started that time really easily, but the load test shows you how much voltage is around to power other things in the car while it's trying to start. For example, your fuel pump and your fuel injectors and lots of other sensors and things. But a good battery will start a car and be shut off again two, three, four, five times at least. So two times should be no problem. So let's see what it does. Note that the battery voltage is now showing 12.69, which is about 85% charge. So it has dropped a bit from before we did the last test. So 
So as you heard, the car was noticeably much slower starting. In fact, it only just managed it. And that was just the second starting on a fully charged battery. So let's see what the multimeter says the minimum voltage was. And that's way down on what we need it to be for the car to start and operate properly. And just a final thing to say about it is if the battery had passed the load test and the other checks that I've done, then the next thing I would have checked for would be a battery drain. So checking to see if too much power has been taken out of the battery when it's just shut down or when it's locked overnight. I'll put a link to a short video down in the video description just in case you need to do that test. Okay, so that's how to do a car battery load test. So if your car battery is going flat overnight or after a very limited number of startings, it's definitely worth doing this test. I hope that you liked the video and it helped you. And if it did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed the content, then please consider subscribing and maybe I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.